All right, uh, forgive me if I'm not an expert at this uh, iMovie tutorial. I don't use it for my iPad very often, but I tried to figure it out for myself. It took me about 20 minutes. So you guys are super smart, smarter than me, so you will figure this out. But I'm just gonna go through the paces here. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is get your clips together. So you're gonna storyboard, you're gonna figure out what you wanna do for your shots. Remember, good B-roll has um, close-ups, middle, and establishing shots. You wanna think about talking space if you're gonna do any of that stuff, the headroom in the picture, rule of thirds. Um, all the stuff that we've talked about uh, works with this. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna activate your camera, right? So here's my camera. And then don't forget also when you're filming something and you want to make sure you're filming on it, if you hold your finger down on the iPad, it will autofocus the lock. So if you're moving your iPad from left to right like this, uh, you will for sure uh, stay focused on what it is that you want to focus on. Otherwise, um, you know, you're going to have a problem that's going to come in and out of focus. All right, so you're going to get all your video clips together. The next thing you're going to do is if you want any audio, if you're going to narrate, uh, there's this button here that says voice memos. You just tap this recording button here on the voice memo button and you can just record your audio without video. Uh, if it's easier just to do a video and then take the audio out later, you can also do that for sure. So don't worry about it. Um, there's a way to extract just the audio from your video. All right, so you're going to get all your assets together. You're going to get that. Uh, there also might be some music. Remember in Safari, if you go to this in Competech.com, uh, this is a lot of free music in here. That works just the same. So let's say I'm going to go to Mystery and I'm going to look up um, you know, I can listen to all sorts of things here. Here's uh, Study and Relax. Let's listen to that one. Uh, that's tremendous. I'm sorry, so I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to click the download button here, right? It's going to ask me for the free license or the extended. I'm going to say free license, which is great. I'm going to say agree to the terms and conditions. And then I'm going to uh, download. I'm going to click download here when it asks me to download. Now it's going to take a, a little while to do so, but once it downloads, it's actually going to download, I don't know where my files are here, it's going to download them into your files folder, uh, which uh, it's, I guess it's right down here at the bottom. So there it is where it says Study and Relax uh, by Kevin McLeod up there in the left-hand corner. I know that that music is in there. So I have all of my assets ready to go. I'm all set. So now I'm just going to start uh, iMovie, which looks like that little star with the camera on it. Uh, let me get out of here, sorry. Uh, projects. All right, so you're going to see a window that looks like this. Let me dump this project here, delete this project. There we go. And you're gonna say create new project. All right, I'm gonna click on this window. This is movie or trailer. We're gonna make a movie because we want more control. Now it's gonna show you your videos and things that you have in here that you can choose from. You can select them if you want to, but if you wanna do it in your own time, you can just also hit the create movie button down at the bottom. And this will give you a blank canvas to work on. So you'll notice there is a lot more simpler controls here. They're pretty intuitive. So we're gonna to try to figure this out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my video button. And you can look at all, I'm just going to recently add it. Here's my video clips. Uh, this is from my closet project that I did. So I am going to decide what video clips I want to put in. Now the first clip you put in is going to be your foundational clip, meaning it's the one that you're going to sort of attach all your other clips to. So um, I'm going to choose this clip here, I guess. Well, actually, let's choose... Um, yeah, let's choose this clip here. It's fine. All right, I'm going to hit the Add button, and it throws it down. Uh, here is my clip. All right, so that's my shot right there. If I click on this clip, it gives me some things that I can do with it. I can adjust. You can see the speed, the volume. I can add a title on it if I want to. There's some filters I can add to it, or I can add a filter to my whole project when I'm done. And then these are just my actions here, right? Now I can shorten or lengthen my clip this way. I can also, by clicking on my clip this way, um, you know, again, get those attributes. I can also split my clip. So if I click on the clip here, where it says split down at the bottom. If I do this, it'll split the clip right in the middle. Uh, I can go to undo over here on the right. If I click on my clip, I can detach the audio right down here. So I can actually click on this audio and hit the delete on the bottom right-hand corner and get rid of my audio. Let me go to undo. There's my audio there. Undo it again. So there's my clip. Um, so again, you're gonna have to sort of feel your way through those parts here. Now, when I wanna add another video to this, I just bring my, I'm just dragging my finger on my iPad. I can bring it to the right here. I can click on my uh, design like the, or my video up here in the right hand corner and I can hit the plus and it'll just throw it right in line just like that. So then there's an automatic transition that fades from the two here like this. If I don't like that transition, see I clicked on the transition itself. I can do wipe, slide, fade or dissolve. I can do a theme one. You can mess around with all that sort of stuff, right? You guys got plenty of time on your hands. Um, so these two are going to go together. Now let's say I wanted to add this 
third clip here. Now you can stack them, but you have to go, you have to hit the three, the little snowman on the side there. And I can do as a cutaway, I can do picture in picture, I can do split screen. Um, picture in picture is gonna throw that one right on the top here. See the way it's gonna show up in that corner up here. Um, you know, again, you can do all sorts of things with this guy. If I click on that clip, oops. Um, and put it, it's gonna drop wherever your playhead was right there. So you can do the same thing where you click on it and you can detach the audio and split it and do all that stuff to it as well. Uh, you can move it around. So if I highlight the clip, I can say, this is the, there's a button up here where it shows uh, the outlining in the window right here. I can go to the move button where it says drag and pinch to reposition. So I can go like this. I can make it bigger or smaller. And then pinch to zoom just magnifies the picture inside the window here. Again, I don't know if you're really gonna need all that stuff but it's just sort of handy to know, right? And then again, I just click down on the timeline and it gets rid of that guy here. So here's my strange video with that picture in picture happening inside there. Uh, now I wanna add some more things. So I'm gonna click out of video. I'm gonna go back to media and I'm gonna say uh, audio. So I have my media and I have my audio here. I can say my music. I can do sound effects if I want, sound effects in here. Uh, let's go back out. I can go to my music. And then I can look for files. And in my files, I can see that study and relax. So there's my study and relax. Bloop, drops it right underneath there. So now I have my video. It's study and relax. Uh, I am not sure. Let's see here. It is not allowing me to extend the music beyond. So I'm not quite sure with this program how you center it with you know, like if you wanted to start at the beginning or if it just starts at the beginning and then ends, uh, I have to do a little bit of experimentation with that. Uh, if you have any other narrations or anything that you recorded, you can also bring them in this same way. Uh, if I want to put in a title, I have to click on the window that I want to put the title on, like so. Let's go out to media. Um, where is my, hang on a second. Oh, it's not letting me put a title in the picture in picture. So I can only put my title down here in the main one. I'm going to go to titles. And it's going to say, uh, I don't know, let's do Prism, I guess. I click on it right here. Again, using my iPad, I'm going to title whatever I want here. Closet, like that. Let's put an exclamation point, because it's the closet. Oops. There we go. Done. So now it's going to appear just over that clip, right? And again, it's a little bit rudimentary, a little bit awkward, but it is what it is, right? If I click on this, can I move it? Uh, it does not look like I can move it. It's going to center that word right in the middle there. Again, you might mess with it a little bit and poke around and see what you can get. Um, but that's basically the gist of it, right? Um, again, clipping on the clip here, you can decide if it's better to uh, split it or try to squeeze it down. Um, there's filters again, all sorts of different stuff on here. If you want to slow it down, you could try doing that as well. All right, once your whole thing is finished and you're ready to push it out, Oh, this, by the way, this just gives you a little more real estate, I think. This sort of shows you audio. You know, what I would do is I would just click around and do a whole bunch of buttons. If you want to add something on the fly, there is a microphone and a camera on the left-hand side over here. Uh, you can narrate, like you can watch this, and I can narrate and say, um, <clears throat> here, let's just try this. All right, ready to record. I'm going to hit record. So this is the closet that I worked on during my... Uh, spring break quarantine and hopefully it will be finished by the end here we go so I can see it just made the recording in there uh, I'm gonna say accept just cuz I'm not gonna be too picky so this is the closet that I worked on during my uh, spring break quarantine and hopefully it will be finished by the end there you go <coughs> excuse me uh, and then up here in the corner if I push this uh, gear button up here I'm not sure what some of these soundtracks are or whatever. This is your, your project filter for your whole project. So I'm going to do the whole project as Blockbuster just because, uh, you know, it's totally rad. Uh, theme soundtrack, I'm like, worry about. I'm going to say fade in from black and fade out to black, which I really like. And then that speed changes. I'm not changing any speed right now, but that's for your pitch and all that stuff. So I click out of here. I look at my lovely picture here once again. So this is the closet that I worked on during my uh, spring break quarantine. And hopefully it'll be finished by the end. There you go. So here it's 8.1 seconds. I'm all set to go. So that's it. I'm going to say done. So here's my movie. 
I'm going to click on the title here and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it closet with an exclamation point again, just like so. Then what I'm going to do is if you want to edit it, so if I go to projects here, I can see all my individual projects. And this is sort of like the preview window is I'm going to go to the share button, which is in the middle, the little uh, square with the arrow pointing up. And I'm going to, um, you can save it, save the video. So what that's going to do is that's going to save it right to your camera roll. But what you can also do is go to your drive here. All right, so it's getting ready to export my movie. All right, I am going to go to uh, select a folder. I'm going to save my drive. I'm going to find my broadcast media folder. I'm going to find PTV. I'm going to find Ed Materials and Resources. Let's oh, give me a second there. Hold on. Come on. There we go. I'm going to say broadcast on the second, and I'm going to say save here. All right, so it's going to take a minute or two to make sure that it's saved in there. I'm going to say upload. I can watch that blue line go. Upload fail. Item uh, uh, could not be shared. Please check it. All right. I might just be having some technical difficulties in here, but that's the way you're going to do it. If you are having a problem, I'm just going to say save video. I'm going to say, um, oh, I don't know. Depending on how much size you have on your iPad, I'm just going to say 720 is probably enough for my video here. It's going to export my movie. All right, and it's to my photo library. So that's always a good backup. So here's my photo library. Here's my closet movie right here. All right, I think my, my audio, oh, my audio's muted team. And hopefully it'll be finished by the end. There you go, so that's my movie. And then you can try uploading it here to Google Drive as well. Uh, selecting a folder. Again, let's try it from here. This could just be a secondary way. And you know, there's a couple of different ways to always do this. Unfortunately, sometimes it just gets frustrating when Things don't work the way they're supposed to. Let's try that one. Upload. There we go. So that was a success that time. So I just did it from the other way. Uh, so there you go. And at any time, if you want to get rid of a project, obviously I can hit the garbage can down here. I can hit the play button over here on the left-hand side to watch it. Um, and that's all you got to do. So iMovie is not too hard. Uh, good luck.